something today it's like 12 midnight and I've been sleeping the whole day just because I drank some of my anti-allergy meds and it makes me really drowsy so I just now got up it's 12 midnight and I'm gonna do a really quick tour of my bathroom where I store my makeup I know it's really not a good idea to store makeup in the bathroom because of all the moisture but all my makeup's kept in like drawers and stuff like so that let's get started on the counter here, I have all my makeup brushes, a lot of Eco Tools, Sonia Kashuk. And these are my two go to mascaras right now this is Maybelline Illegal Length and the L'Oreal False Fiber Lashes. And then I have my makeup remover, my Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush lotions, body spray, Vanilla Teeny from Math and Body Works, BioSilk, which I don't really use. And then these are the foundations that I use most often. This is the one that I'm really loving right now, the Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam, because it makes my skin look really smooth. And then I also like the Rimmel Lasting Finish one. And then this one's a little bit too dark for me, the photo ready. And it gives me a really dewy finish, which I don't like sometimes. And then sometimes when my skin gets really oily, I um, just put this all over my face just to make it Matte. And on the top part here, I have some of my cream slash gel eyeliners. I have two of the Maybelline Eye Studio ones. And then these are the shimmer strips from Physicians Formula for green eyes and for hazel eyes that I got on clearance at CVS. And then this is the Urban Decay Liquid Liner in Ecstasy. It's a really nice, intense purple liner. On the first drawer, I have my primers, NYX. ELF Urban Decay and then this is the ELF Concealer and Eye Brightener and then I have my bronzers ELF NYC and Wet n Wild second drawer I have lots of blushes I have the ELF Studio Blushes NYC Blushable Cream Sticks got ELF this is the $1 one then got this on Ulta on clearance a few months ago and then these are the hard candy flux in a box ones, which I really love. They're super pigmented and they have no shimmer, which is a good thing. And lastly, I have all my pencil stuff here. It's just a real mix of eyeliners, stick eyeshadows, lip liners, just all this, the, the pencil stuff. I have a drawer right here, just under the counter. Here I have some of my high-end eyeliners and the eyeliners that I use most often. Of course, Hard Candy, Urban Decay, Milani, Rimmel, White. And then I have some lipsticks, some high-end ones over here, Bare Minerals, Urban Decay. I have L'Oreal Infallible, Brevlon, NYX. And then over here is more of like the gloss type lip stuff, my EOS lip balms. Maybelline Baby Lips, a lot of simple colors, lip glosses, and this one is Essence. It's a really nice baby pink color. And then over here I have some of the mascaras that I don't use that often. I hate this mascara, just saying. Don't get that unless you want mascara all over your cheeks. Samples from Sephora and then my Makeup Forever Cream pencil line. Okay, so if I spin around here, you will see more stuff. This blue thing right here has all my lipstick my favorites and here are the Revlon lip butters, of course. I have that in six shades and then my Rimmel Lasting Finish lipsticks and my Wet n Wild matte lipsticks. But it's just like a real mix of brands. I have Essence, Revlon, Maybelline, CoverGirl, Jordana, just a mix of stuff, really. Elf, NYC, even here I have my Bath and Body Works 
lip glosses and this thing on top is the thing I got free for ordering Harajuku lovers perfume it's like a bento box with eyeshadows sample perfumes brushes and then this white thing right here has more makeup foundations that I don't really use that often some drugstore eyeshadows got elf Maybelline Rimmel L'Oreal Air Minerals Ulta what else? Revlon. You get the gist, right? And then down here is also a mix of stuff. We've got loose powder shadows, some lip stuff that I don't use, my sharpener, of course, my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Powder or Bronzer, Physician Formula. This one I got from Forever 21. This one's quite interesting. It looks kind of like Physician's Formula or the Bobbi Brown ones, and it was like, I don't know, two or three dollars. Further down below, I have more drawers. The first one, I have my two naked palettes. And then over here, I have my blushes, my current favorite, Smashbox Soft Lights Duo, my Dream Mousse blushes, my Dream Bouncy blushes. And under here, I have my Bomb and Beautiful palette, eyelash curler, and fake lashes, which I have never used because I don't know how to put them on. Second drawer, I have more eyeshadows. In this black thing, I have mostly Wet n Wild shadows, the 8-pan palette, single shadows, 3-pan palettes. This is my Urban Decay matte shadow in Chronic. It's a really nice matte mint green color. And then here are my L'Oreal Infallible Shadows, my Wet n Wild Big Shadow Palettes over there, and then my two Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadows. Last drawer at the bottom, just have some hair clips and my Urban Decay Book of Shadows four palettes. Okay, I swear this is the last module that I have, <laughs> the last set of drawers. The first drawer I have more eyeshadows because I really love color. I have my Hello Kitty Nor eyeshadow and lip gloss palette. And then I have five Tokidoki Chromatical palettes, which I got from Sephora last Black Friday. And then there's my backup Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then those are just packaging. I haven't discarded, I don't know why. And then under all of those Tokidoki palettes are my Coastal Scents palette. I have the Warm palette, the Shimmer palette, the Contour and Blush palette, and the Original palette. Next drawer are just hair stuff, my sponge rods, my hair dryer, and my curling iron. Last drawer is not really makeup stuff. Mm -hmm.